Well, that didn't work. <laughs> hey, 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 guys. This is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Grind, and we have been actually doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing in this game, grinding fish. And I have managed to get a little bit of money. Went ahead and bought a lure that should get some bigger fish might try it a couple of locations just to see if i get something bigger at the oregon map too but i have been getting some pretty good sized fish can't pull it up in the encyclopedia from here but i did get a sockeye salmon i've gotten some much larger burbot some much larger much larger salmon so we are doing better and i'm basically going to need to go in here and try to get some more cash but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can catch anything bigger than the largemouth bass in Oregon. I don't know that I can, but it's definitely worth a try. Now, the rod I have right now is a 10-pound test. And I don't think there's anything too big that I can't catch out of here at this point. The only thing you're going to catch at that little lake over there is trout. So we're going to move on up here to this larger lake off to the right I will tell you this we're probably gonna see some deer and one of the developers did say something back to me he says they're working on the guns he said they're working on more powerful guns and he said it takes five hits with the 22 to take a deer down now I don't think I'm that quick of a shot <laughs> I mean <laughs> Five hits it takes longer to load it. By that time, that thing is gone. Yeah, I tried chasing one, and I managed to get four rounds off, but by the time the fifth one was done, he was out of sight. So I'm not so sure that we're going to be able to take down a deer until the full version comes out or they put a patch to this demo. But still, it is going to be here, and as you know, got to remember this is a demo. So there's going to be problems, going to be bugs. I really do appreciate that the devs have the initiative to speak to me directly. That is really amazing to have that personal level with them. It tells me that they really, really care about their game and what people think about it. But yeah, the first few times I came through here... I saw the deer walk through here, but another time I was walking around there and found the deer. So, I think they did a few changes, because now they're appearing more randomly. Yeah, I think when I was here the last time, I did get something that was too big for the rod that I had. So, I'm going to try it again. And so far as, far as I can tell, there's nothing dangerous here at this particular location. At least not yet. And I've been all over the place, so I don't think there's anything that's going to get me. You know, maybe somebody, some kind of mountain man setting up traps or survivalist or something like that, you know, doesn't like outsiders. <laughs> as far as animals go, I think the only thing you might see out here might be a Bigfoot, but other than that, I've already got a game for that. Shoot, well, I can't seem to find a hot spot here, guys. Alright, let me come around here. To the other side of the lake. 
Okay, I found it finally, guys. Now, I don't think there's more than... If there's more than one, I completely missed him. But we are going to see what we can catch here. Let me go ahead and put my tackle box down. I'm going to try this new lure here. Now, right now, I've got this one, which is supposed to help me catch fish in temperatures less than 55 degrees. So up in Alaska, that should make things much better. But we've got this crankbait shiny. This jointed swim bait is the one I want to try. I think... So he says, large bait, increase your chance of catching larger fish. So, like I said, I don't know exactly what is here. I don't know what the crankbait shiny does. Let me see here real quick. It just says... The classic increases your chance of catching fish. So, let's try this larger one. I am kind of curious. Let's see if we can't get something a little bit bigger this time. From here. Now, if it does say the water is not deep enough... You might get a little closer to the lake and hold down on your mouse when you release it. I've noticed that I can get out a few more feet when I do that. And there we go. And another thing too, the bigger fish will increase your drag. So right now it's going to be probably under a pound. Yep, trout. And there could be nothing in here but trout. That's a good possibility. But I figured it's at least worth a try here and at the lake over to the south because I did get quite a few largemouth bass out of there, so there might be something bigger there. This lake I haven't tried too much. I pretty much just got the trout, so I don't know if that's all that's here or what the deal is, but we'll find out here shortly. With a few casts. Yep, so far. Good old trout. Nothing wrong with trout, though. They're like your bread, bread and butter in this game. Then we will go over to the other lake. And I think we got us another trout, guys. Just coming in too easily. Yep. Alright, well, let's go over there to this lake. Fish a little there. And then we will go to Alaska. Now, right now, I can hold up to 12 fish. And I think... We can bump that up even more once we get a little cash going. We might just do that before we go to Alaska because I'm going to need to catch a lot of fish. I've kind of mastered getting around the bear, guys. He hasn't got me in a long, long time. You just, like I said, you just got to be alert. You gotta, the good thing is, is that you got to see if you can find him, first of all. If he's across the other side of the lake, just keep your eye on him. Watch what he does. And if he gets too close, you move. I mean, you just move a little bit and keep moving. As he goes around the lake, you go around the other side of the lake. In the opposite direction. That's really the trick. I mean, so far it's worked perfectly. Okay, let's see if we can't find us another hot spot here. Yeah, lakes here are not very big. That one I was just at is probably the biggest of the three. And it seems harder to find the... Okay, there's one. It's hard to find the hot spots because there's not as much sun and the flies are almost black. 
They're a little easier to find in Alaska because the sun shines off the off of them and they look white. Okay, so far. All is quiet. There we go. Okay. Can't actually it could be a trout. Coming in fairly easily. Yeah, it's trout. Now I've caught hog suckers here, I've caught trout here, and I've caught largemouth bass. So far that's all I've gotten. Nothing new. Let's bump that up a little bit. I think it's still a trout though. Yep. Another thing I noticed too is if you bump up the drag too much, you'll lose the fish. And you can't just muscle them in. They want you to be at least a little bit challenged. <laughs> so, if you do bump it up, do so cautiously. But this one's a little bit bigger, that one, check and tell. In fact, that might take up to three pounds. It's probably a largemouth bass. There's supposed to be flathead catfish somewhere. That was, there he is. Yep, I definitely knew. We had this large mouth. Okay, we've definitely got a bigger fish here. Let's bump this up to three pounds. Leave it at that, that should be good enough. Probably another large mouth, yep. How many have I got now? I can get one more fish, might as well grab the last one. After 12, you can catch one, but it isn't going to allow you to keep it. So, once you get 12, stop. Now, if you start up being able to catch 8, then you can bump it up. I'm going to try to see if I can't bump it up, like I said earlier, again. Now, if it's not a real big fish, it goes right back down to a pound. See? Now, that is more most likely a trout. But we've got a full backpack. And we're not seeing anything new. Well, yeah, here's another one. All right. How much did we get here? Let's see... About eleven dollars is the most one. Nothing major there, so yeah, the the big money makers are not here yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the car, and then we are going to go back to the market. I will meet you there when I get there. All right, guys, there's their deer. Sorry about my dog. But yeah, even if I try to shoot him, I'm not gonna get him. Just not enough bullets. He runs too fast. Oh, there's the tower. Yeah, I'm not going to get him, but anyway, I just wanted you to see that you can see him in new places now. Before, I only saw him as I was going to those two lakes. But recently, I've been seeing him pretty much anywhere. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to our pole. Yep, 
escape. We will sell the fish. 438. Back to market. All right. Well, let's see if we can increase. Upgrade backpack. Upgrades the maximum fish carrying capacity by four. I think it worked. Yeah, I think I went down a little bit. I'm not 100% certain it worked. Now, there's something that could be used right here. Bear spray. I think we're going to buy that. <laughs> I don't remember if that was there before, but I don't know if we can use this or not. This is a handheld sonar device created by Real Main. It beeps faster when objects get close to it. So, uh, eh, let's go ahead and buy it. Now, if we go to Florida, I am going to get the live crawfish, but I have a feeling... Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be where we need to use it. All right. Now we're going to go to Alaska. And this is when things start getting hairy. And I mean hairy. <laughs> yeah, I have... There are actually four lakes here. And out of all four lakes... This is the one where I can guarantee you I will see our bear friend, our Bruin buddy, our little Bruin buddy. But usually he's across on the other side of the lake and when we start off, we just gotta keep an eye on him. But I gotta find that hot spot. There is one right here. Now, it is. see how they're white now? A lot easier to see. Now, I'm trying to see if I can see the bear. Actually, he's over there. But he's going the opposite direction, which is a good thing. Usually, he's over there, so that means I've got myself a little more time. And apparently, he doesn't know I'm here, and as long as he doesn't, that's a good thing. Alright, let's try this new lure. If it doesn't do too well, we will try the other one. That is better for cold temperatures. And we will get a lot of grayling. Grayling's kind of like trout is. And yeah, the, this lake and the lake over to the left of here. We can still get tra trout. But uh, grayling's mostly what you're going to get here. But grayling pound for pound is worth more than just about any of the fish you can catch. At least in this location. So even though they don't weigh a lot, they are some cash bringers. There we go. And look, guys, we've got something really big. Drag went straight up to seven pounds. And... There we go. We got us a burbot. Let me take a look at him. He weighs 7.8 pounds, $47. Now, how's that? See what I mean? Just a 0.6 pound grayling brought in $9. So, I think they're like $15 a pound or something like that. Pretty good money. You can get it. The burbot are the biggest fish that I've seen out of here so far. Kind of like the northern catfish, almost. It's feel the same niche. There we go. Okay, this is probably another grayling. Yep. Yeah, the amount of bites I'm getting have been reduced to some degree, but... Now there's the bear. He's right over there. 
just under the sun and those trees. He's moving slowly. We just gotta make sure we know where he is. We've actually got plenty of time on where he's located. Oh my goodness. I don't know what this is, but it is all the way up to 10 pounds here. Another burbot. What did that bring us? $65. Yeah, this new lure and rod has definitely made the difference. Yeah, I was using that other lure for colder temperatures, and I did get some pretty good ones, but I was still mostly getting grayling. Nothing that big. Okay, we got us another grayling, probably. I don't know about you, but it seems like that bear's on the move. It usually takes him longer to get around that than that. Another big fish. This seems to be moving a little more than a burbot, though. Burbots are kind of like catfish, slow moving. This might be a salmon, and if it's a sockeye salmon, no, nope, it's a tr it's a burbot. I was kind of hoping it was a sockeye. I only got one so far. Yeah, the sockeye were a heck of a fight too. And they also brought in some cash. And I didn't really look enough to see what they got pound for pound. But I think they were pretty high up there too. More railing. So we're still... Grinding away. That's, that's the name. Fish grind. Alright, this one's a little bigger. Might be another burbot. But... Now, I will say this. The sockeye was caught at a different hot spot. It actually caught over there, where, closer where the bear is. Wow. That's another big one. Yeah, when the sockeye hit it, though, he actually was taking it out. I had to slowly increase the drag in order to pull him in. Alright guys, I had to go. My dog started barking like idiots. <laughs> I don't know, they heard something outside. I don't know what's going on, but we've been... We've been hearing some things outside lately, and they especially have been. First time I know for a fact there was something falling. I have a little gate that I try to put up to keep my beagle from escaping against the fence, and I think it just fell when the wind was blowing. But our bear friend's getting a little bit too close for comfort here. I think we're going to end up having a move. Yeah, we stalled just long enough. He's managed to be able to get a little bit closer. Yeah, he's not that far away now. Yeah, I think it's time we move, guys. And there's the bear spray. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> just to see if it works. Unless I have no fish in my inventory. But yeah, usually what I do is I just walk around the lake to the opposite side to where I can see him. And where's our bear friend? 
Well, I don't see him. Yeah, I see him now. He's all the way across there. He's a good distance, so... Well, this isn't all that big. Whatever it is. Bump it up a little bit. I think it might actually be bigger than... most grayling are. I don't think I can get another fish here, but I'm going to see if I can't catch something different. Then we're going to unload this and see what we... God bless it. Well, let's just unload it. Let's go ahead and... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I did bump that up, didn't I, guys? Let me see if I can't catch another fish. I did bump that up. I forgot. I should have 16 slots available. I'm sorry about my dogs, guys. ahead and sell these real quick guys before we lose them my dogs won't stop barking at whatever it is <laughs> I apologize for that I don't know what they keep hearing but somebody's out in our neighborhood doing something yep I can carry more we're gonna sell them all takes me up to 556 All right, guys, we are back. Again, I do apologize. My dogs just... It's really windy here for some reason tonight, and they're just... Every little sound, they're losing their minds. I don't know why that happens every now and then, especially when I'm trying to record. <laughs> so, yeah, I am going to go ahead and test this bear stuff. Because I kind of want to see... if this will get rid of the bear. Yep, there he is. Let's see if we can scare our bear friend here. Yeah, it's worth 40 bucks to see if I can make him go away. Now, I don't know when or how close you have to be before they get keyed in that you're there. Actually, it seems to be pretty close. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> so, I don't know if I didn't do it soon enough. I don't know what the spectate is. Oh, in other words, if you die... If you die, you can watch the other people play. You don't have to end the game. Okay, that makes sense. Well, the good thing is I didn't lose any of my money, <laughs> so. Yep, the stuff didn't do a whole lot of good. Or I didn't use it right. Probably, knowing me, I probably didn't use it right. So I think I let him get too close to me. This can use once to scare away bears. Or it didn't work at all. I don't know. I think it's probably better just to avoid the bears. <laughs> Let's just do that. How about that? Does that sound good to you? Let's just avoid the bear. All right. Now, I am going to try to see if I can't get a sockeye salmon. I 
let's see where that darn bear is first. don't see him. That's not good. I prefer to know where the bear is. But like I said, the sockeye salmon was over here. Oh, I see him. He's on the opposite shore. Okay, we're good. We're all right. Yeah, he's right over there. Where you, if you see my tip of my rod, he's walking across right there. So we're all right. We're all right. Yeah, I should have known better than to go teasing the bears. As J.D. Kempton says, apparently I'm pretty tasty, so I guess maybe the Scare Bear spray doesn't work for me. Too tasty. Alright, we definitely have a little bit bigger fish here. Actually, he's taking it out still, so let's bump us up to 5 pounds. And now we're bringing him in. It could be a burbot, but it is not. It is a salmon, I believe it is. Yep. 4.4 pound salmon. Not bad. Yeah, the chum salmon, they don't bring a whole lot of cash. There's probably a reason why they call them chum cat. But this is another big one. There's our sockeye, guys. There's our sockeye. We got one. Yes. I was hoping I would catch one for you guys so you can see what they look like. Alright, I think we got us some grayling here. Yep, another grayling. Now let me take a look here. Yeah, 41 pounds for 5.9 pound fish. So, yeah, they do bring in much better than the burbot. Probably about as much as the grayling do. Pretty close. Love to bring in like a 9 pounder if they've got them here. Keep an eye on that bear. He's getting a little too close again. Alright. Whatever this is, it's at least three pounds. Let's bump up the drag a little bit more. Another salmon, and yeah, he's he's a little too close. Let's move a little bit here. Get too close for comfort. Now we should be able to fish here for a little while. Still keep an eye on him. One more cast, and I think we're going to have to head out of here. There we go, we got it. Something bit as I was reeling in. Alright, let's head on back to the... Let's go this way, though. We can get there without 
crossing his path too closely. Should be able to see the car. Just head directly to the car. Probably a good idea to keep watching your back, though. <laughs> and I have had him come this direction, too, so... You got to keep your... I will sell all. We're up to 671. We'll go back to the market. But I think we're going to see if we can't... Real quick, buy a Florida map. I want to see what Florida looks like. And I don't know if I can catch much of anything yet. Because I really don't have the gear. Oh wow, I'm like in a little jungle here. Whoops. Yeah, there's not too many places to get off the beaten path, now is there? <laughs> Alright, well first we gotta find some place to fish. Right now I'm all I'm seeing is vegetation. Oh shoot. Dank on lag. Okay, hold on. We got turned around. Which way? Oh, okay, I made it. Oh, wow. This is intense. So this isn't just a lake. This is huge. Okay, there's a hot spot, guys. I don't know what we're talking about fish-wise here, but... Oh, goodness. Did you see that? What in God's green earth? What was that? Whatever it was, it was big. <laughs> I think they have alligator gar in this one. We're definitely going to need a much bigger rod than what I I had. But we've got something here. There we go. New encyclopedia entry. What do we have here? We got a bluegill. Yay! How cool is that? Now we're getting into some seriously familiar territory here, for me. And another new one. There's a crappie. How much did the crappie bring? Four bucks? So the bluegill... Brought in a lot more because he was a big one. 1.1 pound. So I pretty much would imagine they don't normally come that large. There we go. Got another bite. I wonder if this is going to be another new entry. Nope, another crappie. Much bigger than the last one. Yeah, he's 2.2 pounds. Well, it's definitely getting me, getting me bigger fish, that's for sure. But I saw something out there that was not a small fish. Let's 
so bluegill and crappie for the most part so far. So I can fish on both sides. That's cool. Let's try over here. Oh, shoot! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was great! That was great! I thought the bear was good. Holy crikeys, how do you avoid that? Oh, well, you are definitely taking your... <laughs> Your life in your hands here. Holy crap. That was great. That was that was that was awesome. <laughs> I love this game. I really love this game, guys. That was awesome. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, we're going back to the market. We lost all our fish, but you know what? That was worth it. God, that was worth it. That was hysterical. Well, anyway, guys. We got to see our f next nemesis in the next one. It would be the Gators. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. As I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.